show off the ladies. So we're gonna do a super set. I was like, I'm gonna be celibate for a year. I'm afraid. I don't wanna do this. Cocaine? You're still my favorite queen of the night. A friend, let's drive off again. Let us drive off again. Oh no, run, 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 run. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. I do not know what we're doing today. What are we doing today, Nala? What do we do today? What do we do today? I do know that I have home things to do. I have to buy some things for the house. So let's get a cup of coffee, hang out, and do that before I put it off longer. Wanna come? She wants to go. All right. Okay, I get it. You're thirsty. So we got, oh my God, wow. So we got her this contraption, a pure drink cyber trail. Basically, I mean, I, I would say last <laughs> two days, two or three days. It filters the water for her. She's very spoiled. She's used to it now. It's like a cute little fountain. You love it? Okay. But I've created a monster because now she doesn't want to drink out of a normal little water bowl. She's like, that's beneath me. Okay, hold on, Nala. Ready? Have a little breakfast. First thing I have is my Don't Mess with the Texas Cup. I actually got this as a gift for Cheryl, my operations director, and I um, never gave it to her. I use this as coffee creamer. It's a Core Power Vanilla Protein Shake. Yeah, and then I drink the rest of it. 230 calories. And then I'm also going to eat one of these. These are my favorite yogurts right now. I don't know how to say it. Fagi. 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 I don't know. Love it, it tastes so good. I don't know what kind of honey they put in here. I was gonna, I was actually gonna email them and be like, hello, can you tell me the honey that you use? Cause it tastes so good. And this is 200-ish calories. So my breakfast, if you guys are wondering, is 430-ish calories total. I don't count my calories or anything, but I know sometimes you guys ask. Something very exciting that I did yesterday is I created an Amazon storefront. I did a home gym tour recently on my YouTube channel and because I got a lot of the equipment on Amazon, I had a lot of y'all asking where I got it, name, the links. Now, my little Amazon storefront has all of the things that I got in my home gym. Home gym equipment, I, I'm gonna put beauty things, I'm gonna put home accessories. If you just click on it, you can see everything that I kind of purchase and that I love. I will go ahead and put that link in the video description so you guys can check it out and I will continuously add things on there. Hello. Hi, Cheryl. I heard you have good news. Um, I was just dancing and high five someone because it's that good. The moving company, um, they're coming Tuesday as long as all the, I mean, let's use their help too so it can go faster. Yes, so everything will be on the road by Saturday. 30 minutes of business calls later. We have actually been in the process of moving our distribution center. Krish and I have joined together and been under Offly Distribution for a few years now, but both of the companies have grown so much that know that staying at Offly Distribution over time will inhibit both of our growth because although the team has done such a great job, it is a beast, it is a monster. And most people that are at the growth level that Krish and I are at have multiple warehouses across the US. Both of us have decided to go to different distribution centers and this is gonna make it to where we are able to save a lot of money in shipping. We pay so much, I don't know. We pay a lot in shipping. We are gonna be able to get orders out within one to two business days. Grow immensely within the US, but they also have warehouses all over the US. Buff and Collection alone, we are moving millions of dollars worth of product. Ugh. Let's talk. How I find balance, how I manage everything, how I juggle everything with having a business, being an owner, CEO, and then also staying in shape and meal prepping and eating healthy and being a girlfriend, taking care of the house, being a good daughter, being a good sister, being a good, just life is crazy. What is the secret? I'm just gonna be completely honest. For me, I'm like, there's not really such thing as balance. You're gonna be on this teeter-totter, right? Sometimes work is gonna require a little bit more and sometimes personal life is gonna require a little bit more. So you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna be doing this. Finding that equilibrium, that balance is almost impossible. One thing that has helped me a lot, booking appointments with yourself. Whether you're in school, you have your own business, you are just married to your calendar like me. I have my calendar of all my appointments every day and for me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to the gym at five. You shouldn't be moving it or being late to it. If you're going to show up for other people, you should do the same thing for yourself. It's easier said than done. I'm not saying that you're gonna make every one of your appointments, you're not. At the end of the day, going to your workouts, it's a consistency that's actually gonna be more beneficial for example, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that is when I focus on my other business outside of my other business. Overall, like my commitment to myself was, no, I need to separate these two, have that conversation with yourself. That being said, your girl has an appointment with the gym, so let's pick a gym fit. Cool. Cute. She 
hot sauce. Okay. Too hot for leggings. Honestly, it's too hot to wear any clothes, but relax, relax, I'm gonna wear this. Yes. All right, guys, fit of the day is going to be a Nike jacket. We have my favorite Monarch sports bra from Buff Money Collection and the Amplify shorts from Alphalette. And before we go to the gym, I'm gonna show you this really cool thing I just got in. So growing up, this was my stress reliever. I'm a little rusty. I grew up playing piano, all my sisters, and it was like my stress reliever. I could do it for hours, and I've always wanted to get one. I just never pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger. Before we work out, I'm having a little pre-workout snack. I have <clears throat> one bag of frozen sweet potatoes that I just put in the microwave, a little bit of butter, and I put my favorite cinnamon sugar seasoning on it. It's so good. Then I have one large avocado, and I'm putting salt and pepper on it. There's not any protein on here. I'm gonna wait to have my protein until after my workout. And then Cassie's here. So. <laughs> okay, should we do legs? I think we need to do legs. Yeah, do legs. Yeah. No. All right, guys, now that you've heard from me like finding my balance, how do you juggle everything? Let's ask Cassie. Cocaine, a lot of whiskey, a little bit of weed, a uh, few mental breakdowns, cry session on the floor once or twice a week, something like that. It usually works out. Everyone can unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> unsubscribe, unsubscribe. I always say one tip is prioritizing what makes you happiest and whatever fills up your cup the most to begin with that, because if your cup is filled, then you're able to manage everything else on top of it. So always start with Thing that brings you the happiness because you can't pour from an empty cup. Can I have a little whiskey in my cup? It's in here, it's straight whiskey, <laughs> right in here, right in here. The following message was not approved by Dare. So we're gonna do a warm-up set of air squats with a band and then a light hip thrust, 15 to 20 reps. Like, wait, wait, is that Ronnie Coleman that says that?
and great grandma are best friends. Oh yeah, totally. I'm her favorite. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Whoa, that you're the favorite? Mm, I'm gonna fight you for that girl. All right, so back from the gym and we are cooking up some chicken, some jasmine rice. Gonna make a little salad. Just got off the phone with my brother. His birthday's today, so I made sure to call him. Wish him happy birthday. Whenever I talk to my family, they kinda, I'm always like, how's the whole family doing? Huh? Give, me, give me a rundown. Because if you guys don't know, I have five siblings, and then I forget how many brothers and sisters and lost three, four, got 13 nieces and nephews, maybe 14, I lost track a while ago. My grandma, my uncles, my aunts, all my cousins, there's a big family, so. I'm always like, how's everyone doing? Everyone good? Right now, everyone is good. Big families, there's always something going on, some kind of chaos or something. But yeah, everyone's doing good, we love that. All right, having a little post-workout meal. I got some chicken, I got some rice with a little butter, a little seasoning, a little salt and pepper, and then I have my, what I always call lazy salad. I'm just trying to get some greens in, guys, just trying to get some greens. So I have a spinach salad, it's just spinach actually, it's light Caesar, light ranch dressing. I love my ranch, and like a little bit of seasoning on top. And that's it. And I'm gonna end the video with a little high tea time. Going back to like finding your balance and making that commitment to yourself, like whatever commitment you're gonna make. And I was thinking about a time in my life, if you guys watched my Draw My Love Story, gosh, I think I made that like seven years ago or something really crazy. And I think I talked a little bit about it. I was celibate for, I told myself I was gonna give myself a year and I made that commitment to myself. I was like, I'm gonna be celibate for a year, I'm gonna fall in love with myself and focus on me, focus on school at the time and focus on my goals and, and all of that. I stayed true to that, I ended up going three years. I wouldn't do that with someone until I found someone that I cared about and that worthy of my love. I'm glad I took that time for myself, dating myself, falling in love with myself, focusing on me. You don't have to be celibate, you don't you don't have to do that, but for me, I think I kind of needed that. Like making that commitment to myself, it's something I'm very proud of because I not only made that commitment, but I went a little overboard because most men suck, so. Moral of the story is, Sometimes making a commitment to yourself is very beneficial for your mental health, your physical health, and just your overall goals. You'd be surprised on how much you can accomplish by making a commitment to yourself and following through. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be a perfect little journey during your commitment. That consistency, that respect for yourself is going to help accomplish those, those commitments for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna eat my meal, hang out with Cassie over here. You, you gonna do the year celibacy or what? <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.